Big Beast Daily Vlogs. Sometimes you just gotta take a look at what's in front of you. I'm not talking about that right there. That is kind of nice. I am talking about the view right over there. Let's get this started. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Welcome everyone, it's my daily vlog channel, Eric B's Daily Vlogs. I'm in the North Beach, Fisherman's Wharf neighborhood. Russian Hill is right on the other side over there. So I'm in the middle of all three. But I'm not here for the giant wall or the view of the Alcatraz. I was walking in this neighborhood a while back and I stumbled on, stumbled on the scary door. And I'm gonna walk down the street right there down that direction to show you guys what I'm talking about. So let's look both ways before we cross. Let this scooter go. And let's go check this out. Let's go, let's go. While I make my way down Leavenworth Street, I'm on Leavenworth. Again, you got that nice, almost a picture perfect day here today, here in San Francisco. You got Alcatraz right there. Fisherman's Wharf is right in front of us. But I gotta cross over the other side of Bay Street because of what cool thing that I'm talking about. What have I always said about walking downhill is always fun and easy. The hard part is when I have to come back and walk up this hill. That's gonna be crazy. But I'm gonna give a little disclaimer right now. This where I'm going is a private residence. It's a it's a person person's house. So again, I just stumbled upon this while I was walking in this neighborhood, and I decided one day I'm gonna talk about it. I'm gonna go check it out. And that's what we're gonna do, but we're not gonna do anything else but look at the outside part of this person's house. So it's a private residence. Do not bother the people that lives there. You've been warned. A nice view of the tip, the Bay Bridge right over there. But I gotta make my way down this way. One day I was walking in this area because I think I parked right along this side right here where these cars are and I had to walk down to Fisherman's Wharf. And I just happened to look up at a house and when I looked up, let me get towards these garbage cans because I'm gonna tell you exactly what I did. I was looking right here and I heard a noise and I looked up and I said, whoa, there's a person standing on the roof. Then I took a closer look as I stepped forward and I saw that it was a gorilla. What the heck was a gorilla doing on the roof of this house? And not only did I see that gorilla as I was walking and I was so fascinated looking up at whatever that is right there. I'm looking up and I'm walking and I was like, what the? Check out that door. Check out that door. We're gonna get to this door in a minute, but I wanna show you guys something even way better than that door. Check out this door. What the? Let's stand back, cause you can see the full thing. It is like a dragon, a sea serpent, but man, that is cool. Now again, these are private residents. Don't ring the door. You can take a picture of whatever that is, the serpent right over there. And then the other one, again, like I said, it looks like a bunch of, it reminds me of Game of Thrones. If you guys are Game of Thrones fan, doesn't that remind you of Game of Thrones? Reminds me of Game of Thrones. But it is pretty cool. It's a pretty cool piece of artwork. What I like about it is the how many dragons? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven dragons or serpents. And how they all have their tongue sticking out. The ruby 
red eyes. Man, this is cool. And the way, the way this gold thing right there, and they're sitting on that gold, the way they're all spiraled and curled, looks like they're ready. They're ready to attack. And when I back up, I just hear the Game of Thrones, the Game of Thrones song in my head. And the cool, I think, I think if they, you use this as one of the Game of Thrones banners, or like. You know, the House of Starks are the wolves and the Lannisters. I forget what the Lannisters banner is, but this could be one of the banners for Game of Thrones. It could be the Seven Dragons. Oh my God, see, I, I already said it, the Seven Dragons. This is definitely part of Game of Thrones. This is definitely, should be part of Game of Thrones. You guys know I'm a Game of Thrones fan. You guys know I didn't like that ending that they had, but man, seeing a door, Seeing a door with seven dragons like that, I just gave it the name. Seven dragons for the seven kingdoms. Man, that should have been used for Game of Thrones. Seven dragons, seven kingdoms? Oh my god. Oh my god. Let's go check out the little, the bigger dragon right over there. Let's go check that one out. All right, I was fortunate enough to talk to the sun, which is going down the street right there. The artist's name is Steve Panetti, and he actually owns the building from what I believe and this one right here as his son told me that this is getting more of a Harry Potter kind of vibe from a lot of people and I said it was a Game of Thrones I'm still gonna stick with my Game of Thrones seven serpents seven kingdoms kind of theme but a lot of people are saying this is more a Harry Potter kind of look and this one is a serpent a dragon from what his son said and this one took a little longer to make because you can see the art, the details that's actually involved that was put in here. And I mean, that is a lot of metal work right there. As I pan up and you see the eye, look how realistic that eye looks. Oh my God, this is cool. And as I back out, you can actually see the whole thing. This is cool and again this took a lot longer to make because look at all the metal work definitely a lot of metal and I believe yep that is if you want to check out his website there's probably more there how cool is that I had a cool conversation with his son he said there's a lot more in the backyard and I didn't ask if I can go in the backyard and go check it out but he said his dad made a couple more stuff that's sitting in the backyard, Steve Panetti. That's how the name is, Steve Panetti. And a lot of people, he says, will come out of the house and a lot of people taking selfies, like what I'm doing right now with this, a lot more Asian, traditional Asians would like to be with the dragon because it's kind of a serpent kind of thing. And I totally see the two difference between this, is, like I said, more, he said it was more of a Harry Potter kind of vibe. That's what's giving it out, where this one is more the Asian vibe the dragon and if you're from San Francisco you know the dragon Bruce Lee is just on the other side of here in the Chinatown neighborhood that's pretty cool I like it I stood in the middle of the street and looking at both of them and then if you look all the way up to the house you can see the gorilla on the left there's a Harry Potter one or oh, sorry Harry Potter a cat in a hat right there on the right which is more of a flat flat piece of work not really a full piece of work but you can see him you can see him right there cat the hat but this is a cool piece of work hidden hidden piece of san francisco or hidden artwork in san francisco that is cool i like i like the one dragon but i'm always also towards the seven dragons right here and again the name is right there if you want to check out more of his collection i'm almost sure pretty positive it's called the something.com i think the other side over there had a little more of what the name is you can actually see the name more on this side right there check out that site because I'll definitely check it out. This is this is cool, man. I totally like this. I can't stop looking at the eyes. 
I mean, the eyes, it's just so mesmerizing. Wow, that is so cool. And then if you look, you can't really tell from here, but it looks like the dragon's wearing a crown. So if you look a little closer, looks like he's wearing a crown. I like this. I like this because there's a lot more detailed into this one. And of course it's a lot bigger, the teeth. And the little details he put, and the little balls right there. And then again, the eyes. The eyes just, geez. Looks like he's looking into your soul. I like this. Don't get me wrong, this is cool too. I like this too. This is definitely, and I love the detail of how he added these little brackets right here. And the tongue are going through the brackets. Those are little minor details that if you're standing from afar, you'll miss. But when you look really close, this almost could, again, could be a family crest. I can see this on a shield. Like if you're a warrior back in the days and you had a shield in your head, I can see this symbol on your shield. You know what? I like them both. I can do that. I like them both. I like the serpent over there. And I like the seven serpents, dragons, over here. And again, Game of, Game of Thrones, seven serpents, seven kingdoms. Alright guys, that's going to do it. I was fortunate enough when I was taking a picture of the dragon right over there that his son came out. The artist's son, Stephen Panetti, his son came out, was coming out of the garage. Talked to him real quick if you don't want to put him on camera because, you know, we don't do that. We don't do that. But, so the dragon took a little longer a lot more detail versus the seven I'm gonna call it the seven serpent from Game of Thrones not Harry Potter Game of Thrones cuz I'm a big Game of Thrones fan I'm a Harry Potter fan too but I can see that more part of Game of Thrones than with Harry Potter I don't know to each his own some people will say it's Harry Potter I'm gonna say it's Game of Thrones but this is a cool blink and you miss it kind of moment check that out right behind me over there I don't know if you can see there's a big cargo ship Ah, you missed it. Big cargo ship that was going by. But this is one of those blink and you miss it San Francisco's little hidden stuff that they have. A cool artist who decided to put his art and display it for everyone to see as they walk him down Leavenworth Street. Now if you want to come by, definitely come check this out. The street right over there is North Point, North Beach. And then the street up there is um, Bay. So in between Bay and North Beach is on Leavenworth you'll find the house right here and again this is private residence do not ring the doorbell do not ask information those there's little placards right over there that has um, the artist's website so definitely check the artist's website down there if you want to leave him a message I'm pretty sure he'll have a way for you to reach out to him this is cool this is cool to me it's a cool part of San Francisco and this is what I love about the city there's a lot of different things you can go I don't have to spend a day at Golden Gate Park or go down the street to Fisherman's Wharf if I walk around these neighborhoods I'll find little artwork like this and that's the cool thing about San Francisco the cool thing that San Francisco has is you have artists everywhere everywhere and then you have Stephen Panetti's house right here who's showing off the dragon pretty cool Thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Leave me comments down below. Follow Black Star United. I'll leave the links to their descriptions down below. And again, donate on my Patreon account. A dollar a month will get you a little something. Five dollars a month will get you a little bit more. Donate on my Patreon account. I'm showing you stuff right now that's free around San Francisco. But I am figuring out a way to get to some paid things. So... I'll need your help when it comes to that. So the more you guys, the easier it is, the better it is, and the more I can actually get out and do more things and share with you guys. That's what I want to do. I want to share with you guys. So follow me on Patreon. Links to that description below as well. I am winded, and I got to walk back up that big hill. So for now, thanks for watching here from Fisherman's Wharf area, North Beach area. Whatever. Thanks for watching, guys. Vlog's ended.
Go in peace. just hear the dragon breathing with his dragon breaths and his dragon eyes looking right at you I wouldn't want to be the person having to deal with all seven of these serpents that would be crazy don't worry, Mr. Gorilla. I didn't forget about you either. I made this.